Persona 5 is the new hit JRPG the kids are talking about, possibly the best entry thus far in the Sly Cooper series. If you're not familiar with Persona 5, here's the rundown. You and your misfit band of shadow thieves have to go into the dreamscape in order to use your power of friendship and being swagalicious in order to steal the evil from people's hearts, turning them good. And yes, it is just one giant JoJo reference. So, let the best girl battles begin in the comments section as I explain the questionable morality in Persona 5. Just an FYI, your homeroom teacher is BEST GIRL! Best girl. As I said, in Persona 5, you are the leader of a group of vigilantes. In order to fight evil, you have to go into the alternate dimension made by the darkness within one's heart. Once you're in there, you try to destroy the evil in order to turn bad people into white people. I mean good people. Yeah. Now let's talk about the implications of such an act. First off, no one ever gets permission to change these people. Essentially, we are playing judge and jury in order to deem who needs to change and who doesn't. This is already morally gray, but most superhero stories involve this sort of logic. However, it does get creepy when the realization that you're basically performing lobotomies on unsuspecting people sets in. But if you thought that was what I was here to talk about, you would be wrong. I mean, I just talked about it, and if that was my thesis statement, the title would make more sense. <laughs> Planning, am I right? <laughs> The main thing that I found the most chilling about this situation is the aftermath. So you successfully turned someone into a good person. Yay! But after you change the person, they then confess their crimes and have to live with the burden of having done terrible things. The problem I have with this is if they have already repented for what they have done and will not commit any other crimes, how fair is their punishment? Yes, they did do horrible things, but they feel terrible about it. I guess I can break this up into two categories, moral and legal. Starting with legal, prison is in place so people cannot harm themselves or others. That's why we have probation and sentence lengths, so people can learn their lesson. But as I said, the people in question are already good people. They are not going to commit another crime, because it's out of their nature to do so. Well, how about morality? Well, again, they have already repented for their sins, so to speak. So doesn't that mean they should be forgiven? Well, in a perfect world maybe, but it might be a little bit of a light punishment. But let me put forward this situation. You're driving down the road, not paying much attention when all of a sudden a kid jumps out in front of you. You hit them and end up going to jail for negligent driving. You vow to never do anything neglectful again. While a day never goes by where you don't feel remorse for what you have done, wouldn't you feel a harsh punishment would not necessarily be in order? Sure, maybe a few years, but life or roughly the same amount? That wouldn't feel right. That's the same situation all these people are in once they are freed from their dark desires. Not once, however, did the game call this into account, that maybe the person shouldn't be punished quite as harshly now. To me, this is a huge moral dilemma, but to the characters, it's nothing. Not even the slightest bit of remorse is shown. Thinking of the main cast as a group of lobotomists who punish people for things they have done in the past that they truly feel bad about, really paints the game in a completely different light. Doesn't it? Huge thanks to SkyPG for letting me use some footage from his great Persona 5 Let's Play. I recommend anyone to check it out if you're looking for a Persona 5 Let's Play. It's particularly a good one, and it, of course, he helped me out with letting me use this footage. Link to his channel in the description, and eventually will pop up here on screen. Hi everybody, I hope you enjoyed this little morality analysis in Persona 5, and if you did, of course, leave a like, comment, all that jazz, tell me if you agree with this sentiment or not. Of course, there's all different types of ways to look at this, but if you uh, are done doing that, then maybe check out some of my other analysis content up here, or maybe if you're feeling really saucy, you could go into the description and follow me on Twitter or join my Discord. That would be, that would be really saucy. So enjoy this uh, little extra clip of me messing up a recording because I don't know how to write a script, apparently, and thanks all for watching, see you next time. Bye, everybody. This is already morally gray? Gay, gay. <laughs> Why does it say gay? You f